Hey comic book fans, my nerdy friends, my geeky compadres, what's going on? Um, welcome to the Running With Comics Best of 2013 video. Uh, I'm going to go through a couple categories, show you my picks for each category, and uh, I'll give you a little taste of what I'm looking forward to for 2014. Okay, so first off, we're going to start with um, Best Writer of 2013. Um, this guy has done amazing work, in my opinion. Um, on the three titles that I've picked up of his, I know he, he's done... Um, I think he's got two digitals going right now, but I don't read digital. Um, but my pick would be uh, Cy Spurrier. Um, his four-part miniseries, Number Cruncher, is fantastic. Um, it's like a new take on um, God and the afterlife, uh, which was brilliant and hilarious and um, a whole lot of fun while kind of, I wouldn't say like picking fun at like religion, but sort of like just kind of giving you a new twist. Um, which I really enjoyed. He also did a six-part miniseries, Six Gun Gorilla, um, which was amazing about uh, like a post-apocalyptic post -apocalyptic, uh, world and uh, entertainment and uh, just kind of how society gets sucked into these like reality shows and it it was amazing. It, it was really fantastic. The whole series was really great. And, of course, um, X-Men Legacy. Um, this story of David Holler, uh, who is Legion, uh, going through what he's going through, trying to prove himself uh, to be better than um, the X-Men, really. And... Um, working through his own stuff in his head and it was just amazing that he kept two separate worlds like completely separate but together at the same time it was just a, the the writing in X-Men Legacy is just mind blowing uh so yeah my my pick for uh writer of the year 2013 is uh, Cy Spurrier. Just amazing, amazing stuff that he did this year. Really enjoyed it all. Um, next, I'm going to do um, Artist of the Year. And my pick, hands down, is Sean Murphy. Uh, his work on The Wake uh, just fits perfectly with the theme, the kind of horror, um, you know this this story is just fantastic um he brings to life these uh monsters uh, these underwater monsters and gets you feeling for you get the feeling of being underwater in this little submerged base and uh there's points in this where you just as you're reading it you feel kind of claustrophobic, you know, it's just, and, and the art is brilliant. Um, he also had a few issues of Punk Rock Jesus come out in this year, um, and the, the art in this is amazing, and he also did the writing in this, uh, in this series, and it's, it's phenomenal, it's one of my favorites, uh, that I read this year, so. Um, but not all completely in 2013. Uh, but 
amazing, amazing stuff. Sean Murphy is fantastic. Um, next is uh, favorite ongoing series. Um, this one was meant to be just a mini mini series, um, but as it sold, got pulled into being an ongoing, and I'm super happy it did. Uh, and that is Five Ghosts. Um, I remember when this first issue came out, I was kind of down on it. I didn't really like it all that much, but I continued to pick it up, and as I, as I progressively read it, it just became more and more, uh, in, in depth of a story, and just so interesting, and I, I love it. I'm so glad it got picked up to be an ongoing, um, the first story arc was fantastic, uh, after that, we got a one-shot <clears throat> uh, issue number seven, and uh, then the or issue number six was the one-shot. Number seven started the new story arc, and it it's awesome. I can't wait uh, for that to continue. But um, really, really great, great, great series. Um, next um, will be uh, favorite mini series. Um, I know I've already talked about a few, um, as being fantastic. This one just kind of took the cake for me. Um, fantastic story, great art, and every issue was just amazing. Um, we have Helheim from Oni Press. Um, just a great take on, like, a, it's like a... Viking Frankenstein story, um, just, like I said, every issue was just fantastic, and it just kept building and building and building and building, um, I believe that there's gonna be a second Helheim miniseries coming out next year, and I'm really looking forward to that, um, Cullen Bunn and Joel Jones did amazing, amazing work on this, and if you haven't checked it out, you really, really should, um, fantastic stuff. Next we have, um, favorite issue of the year, this one, for me, um, I wasn't really, really connected to the characters, I mean, I was, but I wasn't, like, completely, um, but the heart in this issue was just wide open and it just got to me um and that is Batman and Robin issue 18 uh the silent issue actually um without words this issue brought so much emotion through its pages I I I'm not gonna lie I actually started crying at the end um, of course, this is the the requiem um, of requiem issue of of Damien's death, and uh, it just like hit so hard um, that it was just amazing. Um, super great issue. I'm pretty sure everybody picked up this issue, and if you did, you know what I'm talking about. It was just it was just fantastic. Fantastic issue. Um, next, my favorite uh, story arc of the year. Uh, it came actually very late in the year. Uh, so, uh, maybe it's just that it's like really fresh in my mind. I kind of thought that when I was picking it. But then when I went over it again in my head, it's just... It was fantastic. The best storyline I've read of this character... Um, and just took the character to a whole new level, uh, and that is Deadpool, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, I know Deadpool kind of gets a lot of flack, uh, for just being the funny man and, uh, just killing people, but in this story arc, you get a lot more depth of character, um, as far as Deadpool is concerned. Uh, you get a lot less silly, funny, and you get a lot more 
like introspective Deadpool. Um, he learns that uh, he was used by a company uh, to make pretty much superhero clones, uh, kind of like Deadpool style. Uh, but while he learns that, he also learns that he had uh, a child, and the the child is supposedly dead, and uh, so is the mother. And you get a lot of um, emotion from Deadpool in this, uh, even leading into the next issue, which is like the throwback issue. Um, you get some of that uh, in that issue as well. Um, the story arc was just fantastic, and if you know you're you're kind of down on Deadpool uh, for always being you know like silly, funny, and stuff. Give this arc a try. Uh, it started with issue 15, uh, and it was 15. It was a five-part um, story arc. Um, give it a shot. I, I promise you won't be disappointed. Plus, there was it. It was a team up with Wolverine and Captain America, and their their um, interaction was really, really good. Uh, really enjoyed that. Next, um, favorite indie series. Um, actually I actually have two, one being an ongoing, one being a miniseries. Um, I know I already touched on favorite miniseries, but I picked up a lot this year, and, um, I know my favorite miniseries was an indie miniseries, but I got another one, and I just kind of want to throw that out there. Um, but first we're going to go with the, the ongoing, uh, another image book, East of West. Um, such a fantastic fantastic story i know a lot of people drop this after issue three um but if if you liked it enough to stick on to issue four uh it kind of gave you this burst of energy that just has been relentless and hasn't stopped um a sci-fi western story uh with the four horsemen of the apocalypse in there uh and, like, every issue is just more, you get more and more of this world that has been building, and it's just not stopping, and it's fantastic. I'm loving every single issue of this story. Um, I'm sure there's a trade-out now. Uh, go pick it up, because it's, it's fantastic. I really, really like it. Uh, next, uh, the indie, another favorite indie miniseries of mine. Um, Polarity, uh, written by Max Bemis, who is the, uh, singer-songwriter for the band Say Anything. Um, one of the things that was really different with these books is on top of him doing writing duties, he also put in a download code in each issue for a song that kind of goes along with the story, um, which is just kind of really cool. Um, I, I thought it was really cool. Uh, the story is about a, a guy who is bipolar, who is put on prescription drugs to kind of keep it down to a minimum. Uh, he finds out that taking these prescriptions kind of hinders his artistic ability, and he stops taking them or, you know, kind of nullifies them by, uh, taking other drugs, uh, and drinking and finds out he has like superpowers uh and from there it's just this crazy wacky ride um that was just fantastic uh really really good story uh, i'm pretty sure there's a trade out for this now uh go pick it up if you get the chance because it's really good i don't know if the uh download codes for the songs are in there um i hope they are uh, because the songs are really, really great. I really enjoyed those two. Uh, next is uh, favorite cover of the year. Uh, this comes from a book that I dropped already. Um, but this cover... Actually, there was a string of really good covers of this book. Um, kind of starting with this issue and going on for like three uh it's just 
fantastic, fantastic, amazing, uh, and that's Red Hood and the Outlaws, issue 17. Um, you see Batman there holding Red Hood, uh, and in the reflection of blood, you see Batman holding Jason Todd, uh, who was Robin and got killed. Um, it's just a great, great cover that goes so well with what happened in the story um, for a while there, and uh, I lo I loved it. It was so... I actually want to get a poster of this cover because it's just awesome. It's so fantastic. Yeah. I really enjoyed this cover a lot. And last but not least, um, like, favorite publisher of the year, uh, and that, for me, uh, would be Image. Uh, they put out a whole bunch of really, really good titles this year, um, and continued some really fantastic titles. Uh, these are just a few that I happen to have by me. I didn't really prepare for this one, but, um, Five Ghosts, Saga... Ten grand, which is kind of starting to fall short a little bit for me. East of West. Um, let's see, they're doing Sidekick, which I really enjoy. The Walking Dead is doing phenomenal right now. Um, it, the list just goes on and on. I mean, they they've come out with a whole bunch of new number ones this year. Um, uh, Manifest Destiny is fantastic. Everybody's talking really highly of Black Science. Um, I think Black Science is image. Um, I don't know, I didn't pick it up. Uh, but there's a lot of just solid titles that they're coming out with, and more and more are coming out from Image and just adding so much to the to just comics. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, you know, I, I think they're doing way better than uh, DC and Marvel, in my opinion. Uh, some of the other indie companies are doing fantastic work too. They just don't have the 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 reach of image. So that's pretty much um, my best of 2013 as far as what I'm looking forward to in 2014. Uh, really, it's just a, a whole lot of continuing titles. Um, I'm really looking forward to uh, again that second miniseries of Helheim. Uh, if that's coming, that'd be fantastic. Um, I'm actually looking forward to uh, dropping a whole bunch of Marvel titles because uh, I don't like what they're doing with the relaunching and, and everything. So I'll be dropping a whole bunch um, of Marvel, um, probably only sticking to like two or three Marvel books. Uh, however, I am looking very forward to uh, a new Moon Knight series that is going to be fantastic. That's going to be one of my... Uh, my my Marvel titles I'm going to stick with probably. Um, I'm looking forward to, like I said, a whole bunch of continuations of stories. Uh, Manifest Destiny I'm looking very forward to, uh, seeing how far that's going to go and where it's going to go. Uh, I'm looking very forward to Five Ghosts uh, continuing. I'm looking very forward to... Um, you know, just seeing where a whole bunch of titles are going. Uh, I'm thinking about picking up, um, picking Red Hood back up. Uh, I hear that, uh, that there's going to be a creative change, and he's, Jason Todd's finally got his memory back, I believe, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, looking forward to seeing what's happening in Swamp Thing. Uh, very bummed that uh, Animal Man's getting uh, Animal Man's ending. Um, that sucks. Uh, I don't know. There's a, I guess there's a whole lot to look forward to uh, in 2014, and um, yeah, it's gonna be a great year, I think, and I'm very excited. Uh, so uh, until 2014, uh, thanks for being a part of my channel, everybody, and. Uh, See you later.